ready. You will have to wait for me. I waited for, was it around three to one month? Two to three weeks to one month. Then you will receive your QID. Yeah, there's no problem. If you have signed the e-contract. If you have not, then there is a problem. You need to ask them, why have you not given me the e-contract? Because they may be wasting you, working for them, maybe under probation, and you have then they will tell you that you are not qualified for this job or something like that. That's why you need to follow up. Uh -huh. Then there is Sheila Mumbi saying thank you. Hope they will respond to the calls. Yeah, definitely they respond. At least I responds to 16008 calls. Then there is Hassan Shabiri saying how many times can we cancel the application and apply? Please answer. You can do as many times, and, but the problem is uh, it may take a long time for you. So, yeah, definitely you should, you should not be cancelling and applying several times. I did once and I got. There are people who have cancelled twice and they have applied. Yes, they have uh, again been approved and the people who have been rejected. So, it, they have not really set... Uh, a standard, you know, a standard implementation for that. But change of employer, it's only three sponsors. You can change only three sponsors. That's the new law in Qatar. You cannot change more than three sponsors. Thank you. Unless the, the last sponsor, the third one, gives you a release or NOC now. So there is Satish Babu is saying, Hi Vic. My new company applied for employee sponsorship change but haven't received any message saying it's applied. I have given my NOC and Arabic resignation letter with the signed stamp from my old company. Could you help me should I do to get approved? Uh, first, for my information, I have already finished my notes period with my old company. Okay, if you have NOC, you can join your new company and start working immediately as they apply for you the old way. Um, and if your new company tells you that they applied for you and you haven't received the, a text saying uh, your, your submission is under review, then they have not applied for you. Thank you. Uh, this. Finally, there's uh, Hassan Shabir is saying, finally, uh, you read my negative comment where I had commented many more appreciation comments. Uh, Hassan Shabir, <laughs> the good thing is you are a very good subscriber and you, you watch almost all my videos until yeah, you realize that I reply to your comments. Yes, you've been a good guy. And sometimes, yeah, there are ups and downs. Okay, let me see. There is another person here, uh, Bruno Serekuma. Serekuma. Serekuma is saying, Bro, I went to sit center to make a follow up on my approval, and in three days after they have again sent the same message which confirms my request but not approval okay i think guys the good thing for you when you make follow up uh i think some applications were made and maybe they were terminated in the system or they were not updated in the system because i believe this thing has been going on so if you have really waited for your application to be approved and it has not been approved for long, it's better you make follow-up because when you make a follow-up, maybe they update on their systems. Some, there's a time I think uh, when they changed from the normal labor law that was given before to this resignation stamp and signed what, whatever, some, yeah, some records, maybe they are, I don't know, <laughs> about anything about their system but once you do that you will receive another message because I've seen so many people receiving the same message that they received before it means when you are doing follow up they update their system and probably you'll be approved in a while I wish you all the best the last person no the second last person I'm gonna answer here no it's the last person with two questions his name is Jamal Silverstone he's saying uh, bro hello uh, Hope you are good. Still waiting for my approval. It has been hard, but but I'm keeping hope. 
now it's going two months still waiting I have this question is it true one is eligible and tired to move freely if I finish five years in one company yeah it's free and if there's anyone giving you a problem then report it to one six zero zero eight and please call them for that to clarify for to to get a clarification on the updates about that or even go to city center personally and try to book an appointment with them um yeah again there's another one he said uh god speed good speed bro uh good you are doing still following up and 11th April got another message same when I got on 9th March how possible is this and is this possible to move freely you can move freely I think these people are not going to bring for you a problem according to the labor law of Qatar if you have worked for a company five years you can now change jobs in Qatar as you want because you have already finished your it's called unlimited contract that is the one that goes for five years so yeah you're free no one should bring problems for you you can always report them and i wish you all the best so see you guys until next time peace out subscribe share comment anything